Whether you're a recreational gym user, young aspiring athlete, or you're performing at the elite level in your sport, you want the edge in performance. Many of us have tried different supplements, pre-workouts, and diets to help boost performance. However, you might have been overlooking one of the cheapest and most effective ergogenic aids on the market. This supplement is caffeine. Caffeine is a remarkably common component in numerous foods and drinks. The average adult's intake of caffeine varies among different countries. However, typical intakes usually range between 185 to 260 milligrams daily. Caffeine can be found in products such as tea, coffee, soft drinks, chocolate, and in most cases, are the only effective ingredient in most fat burners and pre-workout supplements on the market. This drink, I like it. Another! The typical dosage in studies where an acute performance benefit has been shown was typically three to six milligrams per kilogram of body weight, consumed roughly 60 minutes prior to exercise. Most of the scientific evidence around caffeine supplementation and performance would indicate that acute caffeine supplementation has a greater effect on performance in aerobic endurance rather than strength performance, but it still improves strength endurance and to a lesser extent, maximal strength and power output. However, it is important to note that there's currently still a lack of evidence as to whether these acute performance improvements translate to meaningful strength or hypertrophy gains over time. Performance benefits of caffeine can also diminish over time and performance benefits have been shown not to be as prevalent in some participants who already consume a large amount of caffeine on a daily basis. But wait a second, is caffeine not bad for you? I'm sure you've heard from a lot of people in your local gym or even in your circle of friends and family say how dangerous caffeine consumption can be. With stories of horrible side effects ranging from the quite benign, such as caffeine jitters, right up to people's hearts exploding out of their chests. Contrary to this, however, the evidence would suggest that common health concerns surrounding caffeine are typically exaggerated and healthy individuals with no underlying health conditions should suffer no negative side effects consuming caffeine in ranges up to 400 to 600 milligrams per day. There's also evidence to suggest that regular consumption of tea and coffee within this range are associated with some positive effects on a wide range of health outcomes. However, to minimize the risk of side effects such as insomnia, it may be a good idea to limit caffeine use later in the day. And in terms of performance, to intake caffeine primarily around training and competition. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. To see more content from us, please subscribe to our channel.